Hey guys, this is Lego Boy. And just a minute, that's a lot nicer. Let me bring my camera up a little bit. Now, you can't, You in previous videos, you cannot see this. So I'm just trying to include it as much as possible. And I am very excited and happy to present to you three Jurassic Park vehicles. Now I wanna start with this one. This is the best one and it even says Jurassic Park. And I have recently done a review on this one. A few months ago, I think I did. You're probably wondering why I have a Band-Aid on from that incident if you watched the video. I'm not gonna spoil it. So that's the first one. Oh, sorry. Let me do a full turnaround because that's just fair. Okay, I'm gonna do a real quick camera trick for you guys, which I will do on all the vehicles, but definitely not the figures because, oh my gosh, there's so many. So that's all for this. Now I hope you enjoyed that camera trick. Now I'm not gonna tell you what it is because it's a little snaky, but <laughs> but here here's the first one. I hope you guys like this one. No, I can definitely not do this for the figures. Um, the Jurassic Jurassic World T Rex carrier and our T Rex tracker set, which I did on a YouTube video. If you're wondering what the heck. This brownish stuff is, that is on my fingers, it's not freckles, it's just that I was painting, it's on my fingers here, I was painting and it's hard to get off, so. Now I have a handful of figures, I did every single figure, pretty much. So here's our next vehicle. This is a vehicle I've never shown before. Now it's a little messed up because, like, things are supposed to be in the front, things are supposed to be in the back, but this is just my, pretty much my own build of it. So this is the Jeep that takes him. I'm pretty sure I have not showed you this yet. Yes, I actually have. But this is pretty much the update here of it. So that's all for this build right here. Now you could see your, my fingers right here, off in the distance. Sorry about that. I didn't notice it until now. Yes, you guys. Oh no! Where is that? Uh, let me just put that back real quick. Oh, come on. Sorry about this, guys. Okay, it's back on. Now I will give you a view on the inside because this is the most interior detailed. Now the next one is pretty derped out and it has stuff you <laughs> has stuff in the wrong spots. This is my most derped out one. So, that's pretty much it for this view. Now, you can tell this is pretty derped out if you look at the pictures. Now, this part was pretty successful here. This took me, oh my gosh, like an hour or two to build. Finding the pieces, putting pieces here, here, there, there, all kinds of crazy things. So, moving on to the figures. Now, every figure has something in their hand. Now, of course, let me find them real quick. I am starting with Alan Grant, or Dr. Grant. Now, if I could get his head up. <clears throat> now, I will take off his hat, or just tilt him back so you can see him better. Now, of course, he has a Velociraptor claw in his hand because 
he seems to be fascinated with his velociraptors, and he has his handkerchief and all kinds of crazy things. And I especially did here blue, here gray, and I also wanted to include the handkerchief detail in the hat. I had trouble finding, because you can't find these too much easy. You know what I mean? It's not very easy to find those. Next, I believe this one's called John Hammond. He is the owner of Jurassic Park. Da, 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 da. And he has his staff. Now, I apologize. I could not find a staff that was brown. And here is the uh, mosquito embryo. And just let me get him. Get over here, you. Okay. Now, of course, he is Malcolm, and he is pretty famous for, in the film, to have a flare in his hand. And that's even in the Dress Park game in Lego. And he has his flare. I just wanted to include a flare because I thought that was the most appropriate thing for him. Now, you all are probably wondering, what the heck piece is this? Now, let me take it out real quick. Ooh Oops. If I take this piece out, it is actually just a sapphire. Now, let me focus in the camera because it's getting a little out of focus. Oh, no, that's really out of focus. There we go. That's better. And, of course, yes, if you didn't see, I wanted to include a pretty good torso and eye eyeglasses, or glasses, I mean. Now, next, who do I want to pick? Here. Now, I am really apologize. I do not know this guy's name, but I know he was in the first shot of the film, or the first area of the film, and he was getting the Velociraptor in the cage, and let me take this gun out so you can see it better. Now, I tried to get the closest to a shotgun. This is the closest I'm gonna, closest I'm gonna get. Now, you might be thinking, what the heck? Lego doesn't do guns that much, that much detailed. Now, guys, you should totally go check this out. Go in Google or Siri or whatever you have and type in, or Galaxy, and type in, uh, or talk into it, into the microphone, or type it in, say, brickarms.com. And you'll find these detailed guns that fit in Lego people's hands and are made for Legos. And you can even get little sets. Dang it. <laughs> so difficult to get this back in his hand. Here we go. And I just wanted to include these bullets on him because it looks cool. And he has a backpack, which is not in the film, I don't think. And I have that. And oh my gosh, this band-aid is tight. Oh, I just loosened it. Now, of course, Tim. And he has a... These are not called embryos. Why do I call them that? Are they? What are these called again? Sorry, guys. Fossilized sap. I don't know the name. Is it called an embryo? No. I don't know. Sorry. But I might have called it that in the for John Hammond. Sorry about that. Please comment below and tell me what this is. I don't know why, but I'm having a brain fart and cannot remember the name. But he has one of these in his hands because he is a sciencey, fossily dude. Like... Um, back to Grant, or Alan Grant. Now, I apologize again. I think she is Sarah, or maybe she's, Sarah is the one from the second movie that Dr. Malcolm is with. Now, just let me put the torch back in his hand real quick. Sorry, guys. There you go. Now, if you can see, I know she's a plant gal, so I totally wanted to include a plant in her hand. 
Now, I am really sorry. I remember in one of my very early, well, earlier videos, I said there's a lot more dress part coming, and I apologize because there's really not. I haven't been building Legos in a long time, so I really apologize for that. Now, the next thing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I forgot to show you these. Now, here... Uh, I don't know what these are called. They're guards or something. They have electric staffs. They're in the first part of the movie again. Oh, poop. And there's a bunch of them. And some of them have guns, I think. Now, I, I just didn't have pieces to make another one of those. So I thought I would make pretty much my own weapon. It's another zap thing, but it's shorter. And this is a gatekeeper. I'm not sure if he was... I'm pretty sure he was wearing blue clothes. So I wanted to include that. Let's get these out of here. Now, um, here we have, I think, Lexi or Lexis or something. But uh, here you will be totally probably blown away and not know anything about this. This is, if you really look closely, it's a Barbie doll. Let me explain. These are the legs. This is a skirt. This is a shirt, face, and bracelet or hair. Yeah, so I thought I'd do that for her because she's not really into dinosaurs and I didn't know what to give her. So I just thought I'd make uh, all of her leftover pieces and everything for from my Lego sets to make a Barbie doll. Now, this guy, he seems more into money than anything. And this is a lawyer, I'm pretty sure. So he has his wallet out and he's pulling out money like, Hey guys, I got some money. And uh, that's all of my figures so i hope you enjoyed this this is actually quite a lot so i guess yeah so bye